Jackson Radio Show. Here's a little factoid for you. Gun crime offenses in London surged by 42% in the last year, according to official statistics. Welcome, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. It's a Kevin Jackson show. Those are not my statistics. That is from the BBC in London. Yeah, different accents, right? Yeah, I'm mixing up my British accents. See, there's this crazy British accent that's like this, to talk like this here. And then there's the highbrow British accent that Americans tend to use, which is more of an enunciation than anything. And I, then there's that Pierce Morgan one. I can't do it. I can't do it. Yeah, gun crime offenses in London surged in the last year. 42% surge. The Mets police figures show that there were 2,544 gun crime offenses from April of 2016 to April of 2017, compared with 1,793 offenses from 2015 to 2016. So it's escalating. Now look, doesn't seem like a big deal. There's only, what, 2,500? Come on now, 2,500 gun offenses. That occurs in Chicago like in a week. Right? But if it were to continue to grow at that rate, not to get all mathematical on you, but it wouldn't take very long for there to be tens of thousands of gun offenses. And the, and the real question is this, what's spurring a 42% increase year over year? Get this, knife crimes increase 24% with 12,074 recorded offenses from 2016 to 2017. So not only did gun crime go up, knife knife crime went up as well, even though not as, not as much. People don't talk a lot about the knife crimes in Britain. There's a lot of knife crimes in Britain. Now, if you boil down the number of gun offenses and knife offenses of British populations, particularly in a, these were Metro, this is Metro London, and then you boil it down to like the United States in in terms of relative size, that's a lot of crime. It's quite a bit. They said the the Met said although uh, rise although crime rates are rising, they remain at a much lower level than five years ago. Well, that's reassuring. They're going up, but they're still much lower than five years ago. Huh? Makes me wonder what they're going to be saying five years from now. But I'm probably putting too much into it. Scotland Yard registered annual rises across a number of serious offense categories in the past 12 months following several years of falls. Here's what's funny. (laughs) They got a London now has a a Muslim mayor who hates Donald Trump, ushers in many, many more immigrants. And I'm using my finger quotes. Londoners are leaving in droves and they wonder Why are the statistics suddenly going up? (laughs) The total number of offenses during the 2016-2017 financial year was 774,737, an increase of 4% from the previous year. So just under 800,000. It was under 750,000 the year before, but certainly ticking up. Knife crime offenses that resulted in an injury also increased by 21%. So they break them out. Knife crime offenses and the ones that have, in, you know, injury. The force said robbery offenses, which increased 12% year on year, were about half the level of 2006 to 2007. I love how statistically when things don't go the left's way, because British is leftist. They're leftists. When things don't go their way, they refer back to a year, a bad year. Oh, this is nothing like 2006 and 2007. Yeah, I mean, whoa, that was a bad year. This is, I mean, you know, so what? People are dying, getting knifed to death. Gun increases are going up. You know, rape, rape and all these other things are happening. You know, boy, that 2006, 2007, if we reflect back on that, if we compare it to that, they don't say, you know, if we could just save one life. They don't go that route with that. And that leads me into Teen Walkout Day. 
And I know it's been out of the news because we got all kinds of better stuff going on, right? You know, we got fired McCabe and the Russian collusion and porn stars that want to sue Trump and him countersuing and all that. I mean, we got a lot of stuff. But here's what you didn't hear about teen walkout day they where they were saying, hey, hey, ho, ho, Western civilization, Western civilization has to go. That was heard around all the a lot of not all of them, but a bunch of colleges and universities on the day of teen walkout. And it makes you wonder why are you sending your kids to college again? Do I really need to go there with you? Here was another one. Teens in Chicago who participated in national walkout started a riot and dis- destroyed a local Walmart. No, I know it was the guns. Yeah, it was the guns that did it. It wasn't, you know, the fact that these teens are bad. They're miscreants that don't have parents to care about them. And society says, no, do what you want to do. What, it, what is she saying in Baltimore? Look, y'all going to destroy. And when you get it out your system, then we'll figure out what we want to do with these mean cops. Yeah, they're the ones that are in trouble. Yeah, it's a it's not a behavior problem. It's a gun problem. Mm-hmm. Because I know whenever I get mad, I'm going to go to the nearest place and I'm going to ride. I'm going to ride in my Starbucks later on this evening. Don't, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. Yeah. Folks, we we've allowed this crazy world to develop. I don't want to keep blaming us because you know what? Here's the thing. We got solutions. The solution is you call them out. Call them out. They want to take your guns. You say, let me tell you something. You're not taking my guns. I don't care what you say. I don't care how you say it. I don't care who you use, how you frame it. You're not taking my firearm. You're not taking my rifle. You're not taking anything. And if I develop a hand grenade that I can, which they have them, but you know, if I, if that's the next thing, I'll have that. You're not taking it from me. Man, we, we've got to start fighting back. We got to start educating these kids. And and look, I'm not going to tell you that that they've gone through the system. It's going to take a while. I said earlier, you got to, you know, it's going to take quite a few blows before the left go. Okay. Oh, (laughs) It's not one blow that's going to do it. One blow, and they say, you're a bully. The second one, they're like, oh, I'm calling my lawyer. And when you knock the phone out of their hand as you're you know, hitting them in the jaw, then they finally go, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. You got to make them get it. You have to make them understand that you're serious about this, that this is no joke to you. Kids as props. That's all they did. They propped these kids up. They want these kids to believe it, the believe a lie. This is Michael Brown Jr. You know, it, essentially to to make the the teen kids believe in a lie. Hands up, don't you? That's the equivalent. They want to build some new industry around this, and they can't do it with the adults anymore because these are people now that are getting their sanity. They voted Hillary out. They voted against Obama's policies. I'm going to get into this a lot deeper here in the next uh, bit. But that's what you're fighting against. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.